defendant's guilty plea, uh, I am going to adjudicate him guilty of counts 1 through 34 of the indictment. Also, a matter that was not uh, pla was placed on the record but not in the defendant's presence is that I did adjudicate the defendant guilty of all four counts of the information in case this was done on Friday in case number 1814129 I did on Friday which was the October 15th, I adjudicated the defendant guilty of count one, attempted aggravated battery on a law enforcement officer, count two, battery on a law enforcement officer, count three, depriving an officer means of protection, and count four of the information. Uh, the defendant was adjudicated guilty. Uh, now that he has been adjudicated guilty, I intend to set uh, the homicide case for trial on the sentencing uh, phase two trial uh, before I go ahead and, and discuss that part is there any other is there anything else that either side wishes to add to the record or or present at this time I believe Mr. Cruz wanted to make a statement to the court and to the victim's president yes. of the courtroom okay may I take off a mask sure I am very sorry for what I did and I have to live with it every day and that if I were to get a second chance, I would do everything in my power to try to help others. And I am doing this for you, and I do not care if you do not believe me. And I love you, and I know you don't believe me, but I have to live with this every day. And it brings me nightmares, and I can't live with myself sometimes, but I try to push through because I know that's what you guys would want me to do. I hate drugs, and I believe this country would do better if everyone would stop smoking marijuana and doing all these drugs and causing racism and violence out in the streets. I'm sorry, and I can't even watch TV anymore. And I'm trying my best to maintain my composure, and I just want you to know I'm really sorry. And I hope you give me a chance to try to help others. If, we, if I believe it's your decision to decide where I go, and whether I live or die, not the jury's, I believe it's your decision. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, anything else? Judge, at this point, I don't. I don't think there's anything stopping the court from sentencing him on the 181419 case to 25 years concurrently. Judge, there's nothing to stop the court from doing that. I ask the, oh, I'm sorry. I the court to impose again the sentence of count one of 15 years Florida State Prison, uh, count two consecutive five years Florida State Prison, count three consecutive five years in Florida State Prison, and count four is a misdemeanor judge. I ask the court to sentence him that. I don't think the victim is here for the purpose of the sentencing for that the victim has decided he does not want to be present he asked me to ask your honor uh to impose the maximum sentence as possible I, I don't believe legally i can impose a consecutive our counts one and two are the same well they're not judge they have different elements and we um do believe that you can sentence him to consecutive sentences so we would ask for 15 years which is the maximum on count one Five years consecutive, which is the maximum on count two. Five years consecutive to that, which is the maximum on count three, followed by a year, um, which is uh, consecutive to that, which is the maximum on count four. So even though count two is a lesser included of count one, you believe legally I can impose consecutive sentences on one and two? It is actually not a lesser included. Actually, Judge, they're separate offenses. Yes because one is an attempted aggravated battery on a law enforcement officer using an item as a blunt object, whereas the second one is battery on a law enforcement officer, which is based on the punching and hitting. Okay. So they are separate offenses. Are you in agreement that I should impose the sentence at this time? Um, yes, Your Honor, we are. We would ask, it's a total of 26 years in Florida State Prison. We would ask that you adjudicate him. You've already found him guilty, um, and that you impose that sentence. Sure. And that is when um, 
the defendant was exercising elocution, he said at the very end that he believed that you were in charge of his sentence and not the jury. So I'm not sure if he was talking about. I'm not. I'm not exactly sure who he was talking about. I don't know if he meant you, meaning me, or you, meaning the victim. We can clarify so that he does understand that in Florida, it is going to be a jury that determines his sentence as to counts one through seventeen, and not this court. So that we don't have an issue later on on appeal or a three point eight five zero or a three point eight five one, saying that he misunderstood. Sure. Mr. Cruz, I, I'm not sure who you were. Who, I'm not sure if you were talking to me or the victims' families when you said you. Um, but you do understand the state of the law. I went over that with yes, you. Yes, I do. And so you know that it's neither me nor the victims' families that are going to be in charge of imposing the death penalty. I, um, I don't know if you meant the way I took it was you meant that they could ask the state to waive it. No, that's not what you meant. Well, why don't you just tell me what you meant? What I meant was that um, I believe they should have the right to uh, choose the okay. victims themselves on whether uh, I should take uh, life or death. So in other words, you're urging the victims to encourage the state to waive it and no. sentence you to life. Judge, may I interject? Sure. I think what Mr. Um, Cruz was saying was that ultimately, in his heart, he believes it should be the victim's families that okay. make the decision about life or death. We have, however, explained to Mr. Cruz that it will, in fact, be the jury that will make that decision after the presentation of evidence of aggravators and mitigators in phase two. Okay. This, I believe, is just his personal belief. I understand. It is in conflict with the law, but he understands the law. Okay. Yeah. Mr. Cruz, is that correct? Yes. So, so if you were... The legislature, you would leave it up to the victims to decide what penalty to impose, but you understand that's not the state of the law in Florida. Yes, I understand it's, that. You understand it's going to be up to the jury. I understand that. Okay. Thank you, Your Honor. Sure. Mr. Okay, the court having adjudicated the defendant guilty, the defendant having waived PSI, the state is indicating that the victim in case number 18, one four one two nine cf 10 a which is Sergeant Raymond Beltran, has waived his right uh, to be present before the court today. Is there any legal reason why he should not impose a sentence uh, at this time? No, ma'am. On count one, attempted aggravated battery on a law enforcement officer. I'm going to adjudicate. I have adjudicated you guilty. I'm imposing a period of 15 years Florida State Prison with credit for, I believe his ca uh, credit on the 15th was 1,034 days. Yeah, I wrote it on the free form, Judge. I don't have it on. That would have been Friday, but so. I'm sorry. A couple of days. One. Credit for 1,345 days time served. Count two, battery on a law enforcement officer. The defendant has been adjudicated guilty. I'm imposing a sentence of five years Florida State Prison to run consecutive to count one. Count three, the defendant has been adjudicated of depriving an officer means of protection. I'm going to sentence you to five years Florida State Prison to run consecutive to counts two, one, and two. Finally, count four, the defendant has been adjudicated of attempted use of a self-defense weapon against a law enforcement officer. I'm imposing the maximum sentence of 364 days in the county jail. That is to run consecutive to counts one, two, and three. Each count is to run consecutive to one another. I'm also imposing all mandatory court costs, cost of prosecution, fee for court-appointed counsel, and pursuant to 943-325, the defendant is required to submit to two samples of his blood or less intrusive method for purposes of the DNA bank. 
Sir, you have 30 days to appeal the judgment and sentence of the court. Your failure to file an appeal within 30 days or contest the imposition of the public defender fees would waive your right to contest those fees and or to appeal the sentence and judgment of the court. Do you understand? I do understand. You are to be given credit for 1,345 days time served. However, the defendant is to remain in the custody of the Broward County Jail and is not to be remanded to the Department of Corrections until the completion of Phase 2, which is uh, the death penalty uh, trial in the 181958 CF-10A. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Um, Judge, we would request that as to count 18 through 34, um, which are not counts that are eligible for the death penalty, that the court impose a sentence of life consecutive to each count at this point so that the victim's family has some closures as to those counts and understand that Mr. Cruz will not be leaving the Department of Corrections until he dies or if he is in fact sentenced to death on counts 1 through 17. Your Honor, the victims, all the victims are not here for those, those counts and they have a right to be heard and many of them want to be heard. Okay. And I'm in agreement with that, Your Honor. Can we just set it for a separate sentencing hearing on counts 17 through 34 so those victims can, in fact, be heard? I mean, my inclination would, would be to do it at the same time so that we don't have to have everybody come back here more than necessary. Um, State, do you have a position on... Yeah, I think that your idea is a, is a good one. Because we'll, then we have to have two separate... No, I understand the court's position. It, we just wanted, for those families on counts 17 through 34, I'm sorry, 18, 18 through 34, have some closure on those counts, and the community can start healing, knowing that Mr. Cruz will never leave the Department of Corrections. Okay. But I understand the court's position. I, I, I think by you making that statement that that, that, that that's on the record, and, and uh, hopefully that message will be conveyed, your intention will be conveyed to them. All right, now... Can we just have a few minutes before we proceed absolutely. to the schedule? Absolutely. We'll take a... How about a 15-minute recess? Does that work? Yes, thank you. Okay, thank you.